What is going on, nerds and nerdettes? It's your boy, Stevie B. Yes, I'm up on my soapbox again. And honestly, um, even though these videos that I shoot tend to get more views than my haul videos, and this is not why I do them. It honestly isn't. Um, I'm not monetized. I, you know, I don't make any money off of any of these. I don't care if I get a million views on the on the videos. I ain't making a dime. So I'm not really that that concerned with views. What I'm more concerned with is 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 the the state of the comic book community. Um, you know. First off, welcome back, um, Alex uh, Wink Inc., Alex Michael. Um, it's good to have him back. He's touched on a few things about the comic community, you know, calling it the comic ecosystem and no longer using the term community. Uh, I, I'm, I'm feeling like he, he does that because he doesn't feel as, that it's a community anymore. Um, I still think that the community is there. I really think the community is there. I just think that there are bad apples within the community that are making the community more unpleasant than it needs to be. And and I'm not talking about the ones that are calling out the the true uh, the true uh, criminals within the you know, within the comic book community, you know, there's people out there that are stealing, you know, from, from other members of this community and are blatantly ripping them off and stuff. And I don't have a problem with calling them out. I think we should call them out. I think, I think those, those people need, need a light shined on them and, and, um, they need to be exposed and they need to be weeded out of this community. I do think, however, that, um, going, you know, going, uh, all in on them, you know, to the point where, you know, that's all you talk about isn't really going to do anything but drive them underground. They're going to delete their content, delete their Instagram account, and they're going to start up with a brand new Instagram account, change their name, and just do the same thing over and over again. I think they, I think they do need to be exposed and and you know it's kind of like a this community's kind of got like a neighborhood watch program you know and it's good you know you look out for each other hey scammer alert warning this guy this guy is uh you know is ripping people off and and that's a good thing keep exposing them that being said however um, some people are taking it to an extreme where they're not really exposing criminals and scammers. They're, they're exposing either A, their competition, or B, someone who they have a personal vendetta against, or C, someone whose methods that they disagree with. And that's it. And just because you don't agree with someone's methods or, or their or you have some kind of personal vendetta against them or, or you're trying to weed out the competition so that people come to you instead of them, is that's no reason to, to blatantly uh, attack another seller on here. And uh, I seen it on Instagram and this one, this one particularly pissed me off because it was so egregious and and i'm going to try to talk about it i'm not as articulate as as wink ink is when he talks about these things i'm a little more direct and unfiltered but basically he called out a seller I, i'll show it right here you can read this and i'll leave it up there while i talk but basically he's calling out a seller for their shipping practices because they use usps provided free shipping supplies in a manner in which he feels is is incorrect or is an abuse of the system M meaning 
He's using the bubble mailers. I wish I'd have grabbed one. <coughs> Excuse me. I wish I'd have grabbed one. My throat gets dry and I cough. Somebody made mention of my cough getting worse. <coughs> it's just my throat gets real dry when I talk. And this is the second video I've shot. So I get a little hoarse. But anyway, I, know, I get to what you're going to say there. A little hoarse. But anyway, but basically they're using bubble mailers as as padding inside the priority flat rate boxes medium priority flat rate boxes and they disagree with that he felt that doing that is abusing the system and it's going to drive up the price of um shipping costs i guess or i'm assuming that he, that that, that that that's what he's talking about when he says that cost gets passed on to the rest of us <clears throat> there is no cost it's it's free shipping supplies but i think what he means is that they'll raise the price of shipping to cover the cost of the of the free materials and let me start off by saying this is not a personal attack against the guy who who wrote this i disagree with the guy the guy sells comic books on here every day almost and he's very and he's a reputable seller very reputable seller i have not heard anyone um complain about him as of yet and i've actually bought a few books from him and other than my only complaint with him was that he's a little slow because he deals with so many that i ended up having to chase him down to you know to get him paid and find out but i later found out he does his invoices when after you know certain blocks and that it takes a couple weeks before he might get to you and i'm one of those guys i'm impatient and my theory is is if you expect prompt payment i sh should be i should be uh entitled to expect prompt delivery I mean, simple as that that's the way i do business so you want to talk about different business practices i you know i could i could run him under the bus saying he's a slow shipper you know if you expect your money to be there promptly then it's reasonable to expect that you ship promptly that's the way i do it but as i've always said before two plus two is four but so is three plus one just because it's different it doesn't doesn't mean it's any better or worse so just because i don't do maybe i don't do the volume he does and i can afford to do that but even even when i've done some pretty big sales and i've uh and i've had quite a bit to mail out i've gotten them out the next day it's just me <clears throat> but i'm not roasting him about his his shipping practices basically what i'm saying is this kind of type of attack that he that he put on on uh on this particular seller um i think it's unwarranted um of course you're going to use free shipping supplies when you can to cover your costs you know i mean who in this kind of community doesn't use the free shipping supplies and as far as misusing them or using them for uh, something other than their intended purpose I can assure you, you're, he basically called him a scammer and said he was a scammer and that he didn't, and I'll quote, didn't give a fuck about his customers or he wouldn't ship like that. That is a bit of a stretch. Okay, first of all, he's not scamming anybody. Um, it's just a different shipping method. And number two, if you, as long as you take precautions to try to protect comic books then you i've seen some people that don't give a shit about their customers go on ebay and order some and they send it to you in a manila envelope with no bag and board no protection or nothing just slide it in them those are the people that don't care anybody that takes time to pad the boxes and put them in and i think he ships in a gemini and puts it in a medium flat rate and then pads around the gemini cares about their customers do mistakes happen? Do damages happen? Absolutely. But I have war. But there is anyone out there that buys an, enough comic books can attest 
and sells enough comic books can attest that sometimes damages happen. But he made it sound like the, he said that there's been several cracked slabs being sold by this guy because of his packaging uh, practices. <clears throat> I don't know how many several is, but I'm going to guess that considering the amount of a bulk that he sends out the seller sends i'm gonna i'm gonna say it's probably not that many um maybe couple three or four whatever but what he doesn't say is he doesn't uh you know feel obligated to mention what happens when a buyer receives a cracked slab from that seller does that seller say tough shit who cares or does that seller take care of it and make it right and from what I know of this seller, he's pretty good about making sure if something goes south, he takes care of them. So to call him a scammer and to tell him he doesn't care about his customers or he wouldn't do that is an irresponsible comment to make on social media about someone. Um, and quite frankly, it's the kind of stuff that is dragging this community uh, down it's causing this community to cannibalize themselves <clears throat> themselves and and those people that do this need to be weeded out just as much as the scammers now he will go on to say that that uh that his shipping practices isn't the only reason he calls him a scammer it's just one of the reasons his other reasons that he quoted and we all know who i'm talking about but i'm not going to blap out any names here the other reasons that he the reasons that he calls him a scammer is because he sells exclusives. He's got his own exclusive comic and at one point he had ordered so many exclusives and then to make them rare he had I guess I don't know how much of this is true or not but apparently he had paid CGC to destroy the extra copies so that they would have a rarity to them. I don't agree with that practice. I don't. But it's not just him that does that. Um, there's a whole video series from Black Cape Comics um, where they had ordered exclusive um, store exclusives that they wanted to be limited to a certain amount. And they have videos of them destroying the extra copies and it and it is in their words to maintain the integrity of of the of the ratios to where well, if they say there's only 300 then if there's 301 they're going to destroy that other one because they're not going to be caught saying there's only 300 when there's 310 320 or whatever so they wanted to show everybody look here we are take we are destroying these uh, <clears throat> again don't agree with destroying comics i don't think i think uh destroying comic books is a crime unless it's valiant you know valiant on the other hand is like the silver carp of comic book fishing or comic book collecting you know if you're a fisherman you know if you silver carp are considered an invasive species and if you catch one it's illegal to let them let them back into the wild so you got to destroy them for either bait or whatever same with valiant comics you know it should be illegal to release those back in the wild if you get one you should just destroy it <laughs> all right joking aside but anyway <coughs> um but anyway, um, so he calls him a scammer because he's creating artificial scarcity. Artificial scarcity would imply that he is saying there's only X amount of numbered books when in fact there are more. That would, now, um, ordering, saying there's 500, but having 800 and destroying 300 it still means there's only 500 of them so it's not an artificial scarcity there are only 500 available once again do i agree with it no i don't think you should do that but there may be a case where he only wants to make 500 of them available or less 200 100 whatever 
but maybe Marvel has a minimum amount you have to buy in order to have your own exclusive. I don't know. I really don't. I've never had my own exclusive, never looked into it, but maybe you can't just buy a hundred of them exclusives for, you know, for your brand. Um, maybe they require a minimum amount, but he didn't want that many floating out there. So what do you do? You pay the price for the, for the, uh, for the minimum amount you have to have and then get rid of the other ones, I guess. <clears throat> Either way, like I said, I don't agree with the practice, but it happens. He's not the only one that does it, and it's naive to think that he is. Doesn't make him a scammer. Doesn't make him a scammer. Um, it makes him. It makes him an unpopular. Uh, he he uses an unpopular method. Maybe doesn't make him a scammer. And also, he says he sells his exclusive books marked up you know to an insane amount of money and those same books are going to be in be ten dollars you know six months year from now and that makes him a scammer it does not make him a scammer he offers up exclusive books um Comic books fluctuate in price all the time. Everyone knows store exclusives do not hold value very often. Everybody knows that. So pointing that out to people by saying, uh, this guy's making exclusives and we all we all know that those aren't going to hold value. You're not Geraldo Rivera. You didn't break the internet with that knowledge. We all know that. We all know that they don't hold value very well. There are a few exceptions, but the majority of them don't hold value. So if someone buys them anyway, knowing that they're not going to hold their value, then they must want them. Um, prime example. There you go. We'll just get into it. Um, my foil facsimiles. These are not going to hold value over time. This, I think I paid 30 bucks. 30 bucks for it. Um, six months from now, it's going to be worth 10 bucks. Probably. Good possibility. Not going to hold value. Okay. Does that make the guy that sold me that book a scammer? No, because I'm very well aware of, of what the odds are of that book re maintaining any kind of value. I don't care. Not everybody buys comic books with the intent of reselling them. No, not everybody buys comic books thinking they're going that it's going to go up in value and they can flip them not everybody's a flipper uh, you sir are a flipper that's what you do for a living so you look for you can't understand why anybody would buy those but you sell them i mean <clears throat> so you don't understand why anyone would waste their money waste thirty dollars on a book that you know damn well is going to be five ten dollars in six months but it's not your job to understand. You don't have to understand it. It's none of your business why I buy what I buy. It's none of your business how much I spend on what I buy. Does not make the seller a flipper or a scammer. Does not make the seller a scammer. Um, he offers a product. Um, you have the choice of whether to buy that product or not buy that product. Does not make him a scammer. So to call this person out publicly and telling me he's a scammer and he doesn't give a shit about his customers um he does shitty service he get he sells shitty variants that aren't going to hold value so all this stuff makes him a bad person and a bad seller that is the kind of cancer in this community that is causing that is causing this this uh discourse and within the community is causing community members to cannibalize themselves. And here's the good part is in his own comment section, he has got his own subscribers or his own followers in there telling him, dude, you're really reaching on this one. And that doesn't make him a scammer. And, and there's nothing wrong with comic vantage sends out his, his mystery boxes. 
medium flat rate mailers uses bubble mailers for padding so they don't shake around not a scammer um, um, if you think for a second that the small tiny percentage of people who buy and sell comic books over across the United States is going to in any way affect the shipping costs you're sadly mistaken if they stopped giving away free shipping materials the price of shipping would still increase over time it's going to increase it's not going to ever go down you're not going to see it say oh well we ain't giving away free shipping so we're going to trend downward on our shipping costs it's not going to happen so to imply that 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 using free packing or free shipping materials and using them in a way in which you consider uh, misuse <clears throat> is a stretch but when you got your entire community in there is telling you dude you're wrong look instead of digging your heels in and and telling these people how you're right and they're wrong when you, you know you're wrong dude everyone i always say this everyone in inherently knows the difference between right and wrong you know when you're wrong just accept the fact you took a swing you missed and you're you and you, you your attempt to be the smartest man in the room fell flat this time lick your wounds and move on but you won't you double down and you go after him for something else you just keep going after him keep going after him um with little pot shots about oh uh, now this is a true rare book and and not like them shitty fake uh fake uh exclusives that the other guy sells this is what you should buy don't tell me what i need to buy because the book he was showing the book i have absolutely no interest in whatsoever um i had never even heard of it so rare doesn't necessarily mean better um i would much rather buy a really cool spider-man book than this crap he was holding up it's probably worth a lot more money but you know not exactly exactly on the high desirable list for me <clears throat> but again i'm just I'm, I'm the only reason i make these videos is you know and i've talked about this with other people that will listen and and have you know alex winking being one of them you know that we you know i've shared my my uh my thoughts on this stuff you know and and it it just kills me to watch this community this community three years ago was something completely different than what it is now and i never i never felt so welcomed into a community um, and felt you know uh, you know so overwhelmingly um uh i don't know even what i'm trying to say um just you know overwhelmed by the generosity and compassion and the helpfulness of this community you know and these people go on here that say these things and try to drag down other mem community members um for views or for popularity or to eliminate competition whatever the reason is those people have enough knowledge in them well, they go on here and they say they're doing this because they're trying to support the community no you're not tell that tell that bs to somebody else you you have no more interest in the community than the sellers that you're ripping apart you you're in it for money and and yes maybe you value your customers but you're in it for money you couldn't you you don't care less because let's let's face it nobody asked you this is simple as that. You think you're educating the 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 dumbass community members that don't know any better? Maybe we do know better, but nobody asked you for your help. Now, if you want to be a viable member to this community and you really want to help people, 
help the ones that come to you for help and they ask you for help um, don't don't cram your 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 ideas down their throat and and tell them they're stupid if they don't think do things like you do because that's what it's essentially sounding like <clears throat> and there's a lot of there's a lot of them out there I'm not just picking on this one person this this one person just the one they they got my goat um, and he's picking on the same guy that's been picked on before I don't which begs which always leads me to my my theory the higher you climb up the mountain in this community the more people feel the need to knock you down you know if you look at it nobody's coming after me to knock my to to shut my channel down and shut me down because i'm nothing on here i'm you know i got 1100 subscribers that i'm absolutely 100 percent thankful for um, but i'm i'm not at the top of the heap but if i were to hit you know 10,000, 20,000, 50,000 subscribers, there'd be a bullseye point painted on my forehead and everybody everybody would be looking to knock me off the mountain. Look, it had happened. It started happening to Alec, to Wink Inc. When he started climbing, everybody started piling on him a little bit. He backed off and got out of the game for a while because uh, so he wasn't, had, you know, he didn't, maybe he didn't want to have that. This is my speculation. I'm not quoting him on anything. But, you know, I just see it happening. Um, you, see, uh, you see it happening with a lot of the bigger names. People that have grown a YouTube channel and made it profitable or, or whatever, you know, or made it popular. As soon as you gain popularity, there's some jack-off on Instagram that's trying to knock you down. Why nobody had... Yeah, I mentioned his name. We all know who we were talking about. But... Nobody was coming after him when when he was down here, but now he's become successful and a little bit, and he's making a success out of what he does, and he's got got the dream, you know. He, you know, he he got his own, you know, Marvel, his own uh, exclusive uh, cover with his name on it, his own exclusive. Who wouldn't love to have that? I mean, that's cool as hell. And as soon as he got to that level. Here come the sharks. Got to knock him down, and that's all it is. I don't know if it's jealousy or if it, or what, but it's it's ridiculous. I wish it'd stop. And I think for every one of you that listens to these people and it tear this community apart from within, and and you listen to them and you you go, oh, he says they're bad, and you run over and you unsubscribe from these people or. Or you stop buying from them. I think you should unsubscribe to those people too. And stop buying from them. And don't support them people. I don't want to support anyone that looks to tear this community apart from, from the inside. I don't want to support them. I unfollowed this guy. Been following him for a couple of years. And, but I don't want that kind of cancer. I don't want to read that in my news feed. <clears throat> and, that one, and again... Those are the people that are trying to destroy this community from the inside out. People will sit there and tell me, Stevie, there ain't no community anymore. There is. There is still a community here. That's just the spotlight's just been taken off the good members of the community and they're shining it on the bad members. Because nothing, you know, controversy creates cash, as the old saying goes. So people gravitate. They want to read the drama. They want to. They want to be involved in the drama. And these people that are starting the drama know that, guys. They know that. They know you're gonna. They know you're gonna run over there, and and their views are gonna go up, and their 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 people are going to to uh, be more active on their on their platforms and stuff. And they know that. That's why they do it. That is why they do it. Don't believe for a second that they're doing it because they want to educate you and help you and blah, blah, blah. And once again, I'm not talking about the people like Thoreau who are on there and they're exposing the thieves and the criminals in this. But these people that are making criminals out of people that are just doing better than them, 
you know, we probably need, those are the ones that are just trying to tear the community up from the inside. So don't support those guys. Just don't. I, I, you know, and I used to tell people just scroll past them. And this, this video here is extremely petty of me to do. I, I get it. I really get it. And, and don't think for a minute my hypocrisy isn't showing that I would sit there and, and stream a video. This video is probably going to get more, uh, more views than any of my freaking haul videos ever do. <clears throat> because it's controversial and people love controversy. And I'm going to put a nice little thumb, thumbnail up there that's going to let you know that, that I'm going to talk about some shit. And y'all are going to go, huh? Oh, shit. Stevie's on a soapbox. What's he going to be gapping at again? And they traditionally do better. But once again, it doesn't matter whether I get 10 views or I get a million views on this video. I'm not making a dime. It doesn't help me. So... If you think I'm only doing it for views, um, why? Well, I mean, why do I care how many views I get? Uh, it's not making me any money. Not making me any popularity. Haven't gained a single subscriber from these videos. Um, maybe even lost a couple. So they don't benefit me in any way in spite of the fact that it's going to get more views than my haul videos. But anyway, let's make a long story short here. To the man, to the guy who's decided to launch this personal attack against another seller. Dude, here's the bottom line for you. If a buyer thinks the seller is screwing them over and, and doesn't give a shit about them, they are not going to buy from that seller. Simple as that. The fact that they are still buying from this seller, you know, a lot in droves, Tells me that overall, people are satisfied with him and his shipping methods and anything else that you've tried to, you know, tried to throw at him. It's just, it's not sticking, man. So it's time to lick your wounds, cut your losses, and, you know, and why don't you try to bring something positive to the community? There's, there's, there's my challenge to you, man. I knock it off with the negative posts. Not only are you <clears throat> posting about people who you perceive to be scammers because they do things differently than you, you are also one of the top top runners for for ridiculing people for FOMO, buying FOMO books. You, uh, just about everything you do on your on your Instagram network has been negative. It's always had some negative connotations with the exception of your comic book sales. You're a great salesperson. You sell great books. And from what I saw, from what I bought from you, you package, your packaging's on point. Um, another guy, same thing. Different, same thing. Every, people I bought from, everybody packages different. My book gets to me safe. I don't care. But, so, live and let live, man. Do something... Bring some positivity to this community. Quit trying to destroy it from within. Quit trying to rag on people. Bring people down that really haven't done anything to you at all. Um, you can keep throwing up the uh, multiple people complain about crack slabs. Doesn't mean anything. Here's what's going to happen to you, my friend. <clears throat> and this is some sound advice you should listen to. When you start throwing shade at people for something like that, cracked slabs, damaged books, here's what's going to happen to you. And mark my words, trust me on this, you're going to ship some comic books to somebody and they are going to get damaged. You're going to ship a slab and it's going to get cracked. And you're going to send it to somebody who has seen these posts that you've posted and they're going to absolutely eviscerate you on social media, just like you're doing to this guy. They're going to eviscerate you, okay? And when that happens, you're gonna know what this feels like to be on the receiving end of one of your rants. So keep that in mind, because it's bound to happen. You've said yourself, you've shipped over 100,000 packages, 100,000 packages. Um, you can't ship that many packages and something not go wrong, at least once or twice. Whether you be your fault 
or UPS's fault or USPS's fault. So keep that in mind before you start slamming other people that it could very easily happen to you uh, just as quick. And when it does, the fact that you made such a big deal out of it, it's going to come back and bite you in the ass and somebody is going to absolutely eviscerate you on social media when you do the same thing. All right, 35 minutes of rant. I'm, I apologize once again. Like I said, it's just my two cents. Bottom line is, is, is we need to go back to the way things were. Start being a little kinder to each other. Um, you know, you know, if, you know, don't stir someone else's chili. Uh, you know, if it's, if it doesn't affect you, there's no need. Just because you disagree with someone doesn't mean you, you have to try to discredit them and, and, and ruin their reputation. It, you don't have to. There's a lot of people on here that I disagree with on how they do things. Um, I just don't. I just don't buy from them. As simple as that. Um, if they don't like the way my guy is handling his business, they won't buy from him. But clearly, they don't share in your discontent for how he handles his business, or he wouldn't be doing any business. And you said, don't confuse popularity with with uh, success they kind of run hand in hand if you're not popular you're not going to be successful and if you're and if you're unsuccessful it's probably because you ain't very popular <clears throat> unpopular sellers aren't successful so that was kind of a dumb thing you said anyway i gotta let this go gotta let this drop um again Try to if you're not a if you're not being a a productive positive member of this community, then then leave the leave the one, the ones that are trying to be alone, live and let live, leave people alone, man. You know, do you um, expose the bad people by all means? Expose the criminals. You know, somebody who's selling variants is not a criminal. Somebody who packages different from you is not a criminal. People who are taking people's money and not sending them their books, those are criminals. People who steal comic books from, from uh, conventions and shove them in their bag and run out the door, those are criminals. You know, um, expose those people, but the ones just trying to make a living, trying to make a name for themselves and ain't hurting nobody, leave them alone man if you you know bring some positivity or or stay out of the community it's simple as that if you can't bring any positive if you have nothing to offer this community that brings positivity <clears throat> kick rocks go somewhere else because i'm me personally speaking only for myself i'm really really tired of listening to you but that's going to do it for this little rant um Again, like, subscribe, comment, share. Weed these people out, man. Let's get it done. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.